Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go over something that a lot of folks wonder about, don't really know about, so we're going to try to clarify it. Uh, the bolt that's in this gun has a lot of rounds through it, probably about 6,000 rounds at this point. I use it for a lot of testing and evaluation guns. And uh, what's happened is, as you can see here in this high speed video, the extractor is uh, having some issues. It's not exactly uh, pulling the cases out as it should and definitely not ejecting them as it should. So that's a function of both uh, the ejector and extractor. However, uh, in my opinion, this is an extractor issue. So um, what we're going to do here is step inside and show you exactly how to uh, fix it. It's a simple fix. We have the uh, Bravo Company bolt upgrade kit. I believe it's like five bucks. So very, very simple fix. We'll show you how to put it in and then come back out here and we'll show you how the sucker shoots now. Here's the old bolt that we're actually gonna be uh, upgrading, if you will, with the extractor here. And just to let you know, we're using the three uh, upgrade kit, three pack. Uh, we're just gonna use one, obviously. But this one here just has your O-ring, your insert, and then your upgraded spring. BCM also offers the Sop Mod Bolt Upgrade Kit, which has a bunch of other stuff in it. It has the actual extractor, um, some O-rings, other stuff like that. So there's two different ones. So really, you can use either one. What we're doing for this one is just this, this kit over here. So we'll set this one off to the side. All right. First thing to take down your bolt, if you don't know, and remove your extractor, is you're just going to push one of these pins out. Well, this pin out, either left or right, it doesn't matter. Do that. You want to push down a little, put a little bit of pressure here and just slide that out. Um, to the other side comes out and you can see here on this one what we have <clears throat> is the o-ring and it's actually kind of flattened out just from having so many rounds through it I don't know if you can really kind of see that uh, we're gonna pull that off and set that off to the side because that one's done have our spring in our insert and you can see the spring here is gonna be a little bit shorter we'll compare the two here in just a second so to pull that out you can just pull it out or if you have some sort of like dental cleaning tool and just kind of pop it because it's just stuck under their inner tension. There we go. And we'll set that off to the side, clean this out real quick. And get ready to put our new one in. The first thing I want to point out is that there's two different ends to this spring. This one here is kind of the wide one, and then the narrow end here. So what we want to do is take our insert which again is going to have sort of a, a fatter end down here and then the narrow end here and what we're going to do is put that narrow end in the fat end of the spring if that makes sense so here's our fat end of the spring narrow end of the insert put that in we're going to take that and put it in the depression here on the extractor you just kind of got to click it in i'll stop talking so hopefully you can hear it There we go, you heard that click. That's what we're looking for. Now we're gonna take our O-ring and put it over the top of that and just kind of slide it down. I don't know if you can really tell on camera here, but this one here is not flat like the other one, not kind of slightly flattened out. So it should give us some more tension. One thing I wanna point out though is that the O-ring here, guys, uh, nine times out of 10, you're not actually gonna need the O-ring. You're just gonna need the upgraded insert and spring. I'm putting the O-ring on just to show you here, and we are going to run it with the O-ring as well. Um, but I just want to show, point out that you do not always need the O-ring. Um, if you guys shoot in extreme cold temperatures, I believe uh, per the manual, these are rated down to negative 25 degrees. After that, they get hard and can have issues. 99 out of 100 of us will not be doing that, but just a word of caution for you. So that is it. You're done. Now we got to reinstall it, and the thing is, with the extra tension here from the spring, as well as the new O-ring on there, it's going to be super tight to actually uh, put in there. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it here on camera. I may have to actually get on it and like physically push down on it with my weight. I'll try to do it here with my hands, but no guarantees, guys. But all I'm doing here is just pushing down on this portion here of your extractor while trying to push this pin through. And again, it's going to be super hard, tough the first couple times. Uh, eventually, it will. Be just fine, it'll work its way up. Looks like we might have to kind of take this off camera. Oh no. Oh, 
Got it. There you go. Not too, too bad. Not easy, though. It will, again, loosen with time. So loosen. I had to actually lean on it to get it in and get it even, but you want that pin to be even on both sides as we push it through. And uh, next, we'll step out to the range and see what kind of patterns we get with it. We got the bolt back in the rifle. Uh, we changed out the stock, but everything else is uh, the same. It's just me being a gear junkie and changing stuff out. So same ammo that we used in the intro, and you can see here in the slow motion footage of it today, uh, out here with this bolt in there, that it is definitely ejecting and extraction, extracting uh, much more positively. And for the money, I mean, you're talking about a $5 replacement item. If you're having any questions about it, I do recommend checking it out, giving it a shot, because uh, you're extracting is a key part of uh, AR reliability, obviously. And uh, it's definitely worth checking it out and not having to worry about what the issue may be when the issue could just be a simple $5 upgrade. Um, some of the bolts out there and extractors aren't gonna come with any of these things or are really one of them or two of them. So if that's the case, you might wanna look into upgrading it as well. You don't necessarily need all of them like we talked about earlier, but it certainly won't hurt. If you guys have any questions about this, anything else we talk about here on the channel, you can always post below in the comments. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that explained it to some of you guys who are wondering about this. And I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video.